Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this famous catchy tune called Scatman by Scatman John. Okay, so I'll be teaching you two main sections in this lesson. The first section is the underlying instrumental section that pretty much plays throughout the entire song. It goes like this, give you a quick preview, it goes like this, okay. And then the other section you're going to learn is the uh, repeating the uh, chorus instrumental that goes like this. Like this, give you a preview. Repeats. Etc. Okay. But anyways, yeah, most of the time, if you learn the chords, you can actually pretty much learn the like other sections like the skibby dee bee 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 bop the pop, like it's like... etc. because it's just like repeating of that note. But anyway, regardless, let's go ahead and learn the awesome instrumental section that plays throughout the entire song first. Goes like this, okay? So, okay, here we go. We're gonna break it up into, let me see, four parts for this instrumental section. There's a reason why, okay? So here we go. First part, right hand starts on the C, just above middle C. Okay, it goes C, down to F, and then A flat F, up to C, down to F, A flat, and then F, A flat, like that. And that's the right hand for this first part. Very important to remember this because this pattern applies to pretty much all the parts, just like somehow, uh, the same and also in a different like kind of like scale as well. So one more time, so it goes like this, it goes C, F, A flat, F, C, F, A flat, F, A flat, like that. Okay, so very important thing as well, the rhythm, because in the other parts it's the same thing, but the rhythm is still the same as well, okay? Here we go. Okay, so it goes... Like that, okay? So it goes faster. Okay, just like that. Okay, make sure you get that. Dun, 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 like that. The other parts, it's the same um, rhythm, so you have to kind of like get this particular rhythm locked in. Okay, so that's that for the right hand. Left hand, one chord for the first part. The one chord is D flat major, which is D flat F A flat. Okay, so with that D flat major in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Very simple. First note goes to the chord, like together, like that. And that's the first part. Okay, something very awesome happens for the second part. The second part is exactly the same, but the left hand is just F minor, which is F, A flat, C. Okay, and you just apply the same thing for the right hand like this. Like that. And that's the second part. Easy stuff. Okay, so just like that. First two parts play back to back like this. Like that. Okay, and that's that for the two parts. Okay, moving on to the third and the fourth part, the third is actually the same as the fourth part, so that's why it's third and the fourth part. So third part is the exact same rhythmic pattern, but played in the E flat major tonality. So it goes B flat, down to E flat, and then G, E flat, up to B flat, down to E flat, and then G, and then E flat, G, like that. And that's the right hand, okay? Just like that, okay? Same rhythmic pattern, so it just goes B flat, E flat, G, E flat, B flat, E flat, G, E flat, G, like that. It's the same pattern, remember? Okay, it's exact same rhythmic pattern as the first part. Okay, left hand is E flat major chord, which is E flat G B flat. So with that chord in mind, the third and the fourth part just goes like this. The third is the same as the fourth part, so you just repeat this for two times like this. Repeats like that, and that's it, like this. So that's the third and the fourth part. So back to back, the four parts of this section is just play like this. Check it out. Okay, so remember if you can't count properly, the left hand you can actually uh, do a pattern, like just like counting the main beats. You could be like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, to help you count. So you can be like like that. 
game. That helps you count and also allows you to later on improvise as well because you know exactly how the rhythm goes. Like, like okay, etc, etc, etc. So it does help you out, okay? So, that's that. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. Okay, okay. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, so after you get this um, section, it's very important because it's the underlying throughout the entire song. So um, uh, it goes to the other section, which is the uh, the chorus section. The thing that appears, I can't even talk properly. It appears throughout the song as well. Is the do, 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 that really catchy part as well. So let's go ahead and learn this. The left hand chords is the same four chords as the um, four chords that I just taught you in the, section, uh, the previous section as well. So very simple stuff. So let's go ahead and break it up to parts to learn it, okay? So. We're gonna break up to four parts. Goes starting on the A flat up here, so middle C, go up an octave to this C, go up to the A flat, that's where we start. So A flat, G, A flat, G, F, down to C. And that's the first part. One more time for this first part, so it goes A flat, G, A flat, G, F, C. And that's that for the right hand. Okay, once you get that left hand, same first chord, just D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. So with that D flat major chord in mind, the two hands together goes like this, A flat and D flat major together. So it's gonna, like that. Okay, and that's that for the first part. So, ta-da! And that's that for the first part. Moving on to the second part. The second part is pretty much exactly the same, just doesn't have the first note. So without the A flat, just goes like that. So the same thing as the first part, but without the first A flat, okay? The left hand is F minor though, it's F A flat C. So the second chord of a four chord sequence, okay? So with that in mind, the two hands together goes like this, goes here. Since there's no A flat, so the left hand chord comes in by itself. Okay, so one more time for the second part it goes here. That's the second part. Okay, yeah, that's that. Okay, so back to back, the two parts where we play like this, so it just goes together. Here. Okay, moving on to the third part. Third part, right hand continues like this. It's similar sequence to the first part, but just a little bit different in notes. It goes A flat. G, A flat, G, this time down to E flat, down to B flat. So yeah, the last two notes is different, that's what you can say compared to the first part. Okay, one more time, it goes A flat, G, A flat, G, E flat, down to B flat. And that's the right hand for this third part, just like that. Like that, that's the right hand. Left hand, just E flat major chord, which is E flat, G, B flat. So with that E flat major chord in mind, the two hands together goes like this, A flat and E flat major together, so together. Okay, and that's the third part, so like this. Like that. And that's the third part, so back to back the three parts we play like this, check it out. Like that. The fourth and last part of this section is pretty much um, similar pattern, okay? So, uh, same as the third part, but once again, it's like without the first A flat note. So it just goes G, A flat, G, E flat, B flat, like that. That's the right hand. Just like that, so G, A flat, G, E flat, B flat. And that's the right hand. Once you get that left hand, same chord is E flat major, which is E flat, G, B flat. So with that E flat major chord in mind, so once again it goes like this, here, and the right comes in. And that's the fourth part. One more time for this fourth part, so it goes here. And that's the fourth part. So back to back, the four parts of this section will be played like this, check it out, so to go. Okay, and that's that. All you need to do is just repeat it. You can add some like catchy rhythmic motive to it. You'll be like. Yeah. Etc, etc, etc. But anyway. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So a lot of fun you can have by just like learning these motives and melody and chords, okay? That's why I always teach you with melody and chords because it allows you to have the freedom to kind of like make up your own arrangements uh, depending on how much uh, musical knowledge you have, okay? So I teach more of these like more advanced like musical theory stuff that helps you out to kind of like um, make up your own arrangements and improvise and accompany yourself in a different way.
So if you want to learn more about that, go ahead and check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, where you learn from my piano courses, learn how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff there. So check it out. Okay, links in the description below. Check out the rest of my channel. I literally have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of piano videos on the channel alone for you to like enjoy and learn from. Okay, so as for now, that's pretty much it. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.